So I've been trying to come up with a hot water solution in my van for taking showers, but I also wanted um, also wanted it to be portable and something I could take outside or use in the van. So I came up with a solution with a cheap Chinese heating element. This is a 600 watt heating element. It's actually pretty good quality. I've tested it already and the cables don't overheat. This is five liters of cold water, right? And this is the um, super portable power pack, um, very similar to the Bowden's one. Now this has got a peak power for a maximum continuous output of the pure sine wave inverter of 600 watts. Now I've tested both of them. I've tested the heater element with this unit and I've tried to heat some water and it is successful. It does get warm but it doesn't trip out. So it is true to its word that it will run 600 watts continuously. Now, I didn't want gas in my van. I've got no gas in my van at all. Apart from a tiny little camping stove that I've got outside. Um, and I wanted something that I could kind of just leave outside, heat the water, put in my portable um, 12 volt shower, um, drop it into some water and have a shower outdoors, especially in the summer. Water didn't need to be mega hot, but it did need to be quite hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in, and we're gonna switch it on, and we're gonna see in real time how long it takes to heat this water to a temperature that is comfortable to have a shower with. So, you know, we don't want it boiling, but what I'll do is I'll show you with the camera in real time just how long it takes, all right? So let's plug it in, let's switch it on. All right, so AC output on. Let's just, so we're on 70% power. So we're gonna switch it on. Gonna switch that on. Pop that for now. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back. Um, I reckon it's gonna take about ten minutes. So what we'll do is I'll just show you with the camera. Yep. That water is cold. Yep. So straight out the tap. Yep. And we're on 68% power. And then we're going to see how we get on. So we used 7% power so far. And you can see we're starting to get a few bubbles around the element now. Still a long way to go. Still not quite warm yet. No indications of overheating on the portable generator. So I think we're good to go. We're going to leave that going for a little bit longer. So we've used up about 22% heating this 5 litres of water up. Now this is just a normal temperature gauge, this one. Um, so it won't read anything over 40 degrees. It just comes up as it's high. So what we'll do is we'll pop it in. And you can see there that it's saying... That it's high so I would say now if I was to pop my fingers in here that is pretty hot actually I wouldn't say you'd want it much hotter than that right I'm gonna end the test here that's taken 30% power it's not overheated which is what the little temperature gauge there is and if we look inside the water, it's starting to get bubbles around the edges, which means the water is actually starting to boil. 
which you wouldn't want for a shower anyway because it would be too hot. So that has taken 16 minutes to heat 5 litres of water up to boiling temperature from this super portable power supply which I think is absolutely amazing. That basically means you have portable hot water wherever you go with no gas and obviously this is free electricity because I've never had to charge this by the mains. It's always been charged by my solar inside the van. Nothing's getting hot. The unit's getting a little bit hot but nothing too bad. And there you have it guys. Free hot water. Which you literally just have to dip in a portable shower and a cigarette lighter. And you have a portable shower. Job done. Well I hope you enjoyed guys. Maybe give you an alternative to um, a gas hot water supply. Or LPG. I think this is definitely a viable viable option. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully do a lot more reviews.